is our top five favorite knives. Watch to the end to find out my favorite one. Oh, we're starting. What's up, freaks? It is the Freak Family, and I guess you could guess what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing a video on knives. This was really supposed to be just our top five favorite knives as a family, and it turned into, oh, we got about 50 or 60 wow. knives. We're going to show, show you them all. We don't want to overdo it. We'll save some for another video. So we broke it down into categories. What are some of the categories we have? doesn't matter the order. Just what are some of the categories? Well, one is like our favorite folding knife, our favorite like fixed blade, favorite EDC, stuff like that. Favorite what does EDC, EDC mean? EDC stands for everyday carry. So basically, everyday crazy. And then we also have our crazy. favorite, our favorite crazy slash fun knife. And then we're gonna go into our favorite overall knife. And after we go into our overall knife, we're each gonna choose our favorite overall knife in that category. Then we're gonna do some honorable mentions. Honorable, honorable mentions, mentions. Where it's just all kinds of extra knives that we have that we like and that we use. And we're gonna tell you kind of what different situations we use each of these different knives for. So yeah. let's get rolling. Let's start off first. Let's start with our favorite. I was going to put this one away for now. So we're going to pull them out for you. We'll show them to you. We'll tell you the brands. And we'll put all the links. You're going to put all the links below? All the yeah, links all the links the will be down in the description. For every so. single one of these knives. So let's get rolling. Let's start first with our favorite folder. Favorite folder. Flipper favorite folder. folder. Tyson, what you got? Okay. All right. So my favorite folder is this Civivi Brazen. Brazen, Brazen right? I think yeah, that's, it. that's I think that's, I said it correctly. This is one of my favorite folders. I never really carried it around, but it's definitely one of my favorites with the Damascus steel right there. Very smooth. He opening. jacked that knife for me. That's like one of my go-to knives that he jacked from me. It has it's, it opens like very smooth too, though. Yeah, it's, it's one like, of our smoothest knives. Probably the smoothest open. Let me try it. We like knives. Well, you have this little flipper here, which we rarely ever use. I mean, you could use your thumb and flip it open, or if you're a real cool guy. Spider-Man. Middle finger. The FU flip. And this one does smooth on all three of those. Probably this one of the smoothest ones right there. All right, what's your favorite folder? Why are you showing that one already? That's your overall. Show what's your favorite folder, Midge. Okay, so a lot of my knives actually have this cool, like, rainbow color to them. But this one is from a brand called Wartech. I'm not sure what this specific knife is called, but it's from a brand called Wartech. And this one, I don't really carry it around that much, but I just thought it would, it's like, it's a really cool knife. The blade is kind of a weird shape, but. I think you, I like knives that look cool, but also functional. And I think you just care if they look cool yeah, and that's it. Cool. <laughs> you don't care anything else about it. Like, look at this thing. Just about the cosmetics. Look at this. Although it is pretty, it's pretty sturdy, cool knife. Yeah, it's like durable. How'd you get this one? Where'd you get this one from? Well, we were at the mall. So he was actually at the mall with my mom because they were out on their date night, and he saw this knife store. We went that to was a like, knife store that for was date night. They, it was hidden away, and it, I think it already closed down. I'm not sure, but later he took me and Tyson there, and we all went there to buy knives, and we left. I and left. Only she bought two yeah, knives. She, only she I bought, bought two knife. knives. So I wanted, this is one of them. I wanted one of my knives, but they weren't there in the store. So I bought it on Amazon once we came so back. So my here's my favorite or my second favorite folder, because he stole my favorite one. <laughs> but one of my favorites, so this is a this has this same finger flipper, but what this one has that I like even more than ones have a little button. A little button there that you could just flick open and flick closed. And it's or you, you could use the thumb. So I like the ones that have a button, the flipper. The button open. Thumb stud and. Thumb stud. And then the opposite for the FU side. But this one, we just got, this came in Battle Box. This was from Ruckin River. I forget the name of the, the actual knife this was. They had a name for it. So it's going to be name. down in the description. But it's got like this brown, gold, or bronze inside. Has this cool handle here. And the button. smooth. The button flipper pretty flips smooth, it open. Yeah. It's still pretty new. It's still breaking a little bit, but. Yeah, it's smooth thumb and smooth Can FU I put that flipper. One for a second? Thanks. So that is my favorite Ooh. folder. Let's go to favorite fixed blade next. Favorite fixed blade. Tyson, what's your favorite fixed blade? All right, so my favorite fixed blade is actually one from BattleBox. It's a special one. It's actually, that was the same as this one. That one's like made by. It has Rock the same. River? Has the signature of the guy from BattleBox here, Curran seventeen seventy five. I think that one has it too. Yeah, Brandon Curran seventeen seventy six. Seventy six six. This is the M100 from BattleBox 100 that I got, and I kind of stole this one. Like I'm pretty a lot sure of my knives. almost all your knives you stole. I think one I, of them. I, I think I, one of them you bought yourself, and the rest you jacked from me. That's not true. I she actually a, has more that she bought of her own than you have that you bought. 
I don't have a single knife from Battle Box. When I first got this knife, my hands weren't as big. So at least 50% of mine are. No, you do. Yeah. Kind of, it was kind of hard to grip the it's handle, crazy. but this is like. Oh, that one's from Battle Box? Oh, yeah, right. I have one that's from Battle Box. All right, Fixed Blade. What do you got for your Fixed Blade? Made your favorite Fixed Blade. Favorite Fixed Blade. It's. Okay. It's from Condor. It has this really. I'm not sure what the name of it is. Get it down in the description. But it has this really cool blade, and it's sharp. <laughs> But I love this handle. A knife that's that... sharp. Go figure. <laughs> but it has this really cool wooden handle. It's got a little hole right there if you want to put it on some sort of like uh, keychain or something. But it's key got chain? or like whatever you know what I mean. In your knife world, it'll be called a lanyard. Oh my gosh! But <laughs> it's got this uh, belt sheath. It's made of leather. It's like got that hook for a belt. And yeah. And the blade, the cool. Well, this one's like a cowboy one for her. She's like a little cowgirl doing her horsey. But check out that blade if you can see it in the angle here with the lighting. It's got that cool like rock texture. It's like it's unfinished, like... weird blade. It's a limited edition. What kind of steel is that? From El Maybe. Salvador. It has a serial number because they're limited edition, but it doesn't say. It said the steel on the on the when it, on the write up for it, but. Oh yeah, this yeah. is limited edition too. All right, my fixed blade. Was I'm this one cheat. from Battle Box 2? I'm cheating and I'm going three oh, fixed blades. I'm cheating. I'm sorry. I couldn't ha help it. That's what honorable mentions are for. I know, but it, no, these fit for fixed blades. These had to go with fixed blades oh. because they're very specific ones. So here's my favorite fixed blades. It's just a smaller one that I can actually carry around. And it oh, is, I love that one. What was that again? Horatio, I think. Or, Ra yeah, Horatio. Horatio. Really? Horatio. Yeah. It's the, same, it's the same as your uh, the box cutter knife. The same one, same brand. Wasn't Rhino or something? No. Horatio, I'm pretty sure. So this right here, a fixed blade, and this symbol right here. We're gonna put all the links down below, but just for you to check it out. It's just solid, sturdy. I could carry it around as an EDC fixed blade. It's big, but not too big. Gets I the job done. People complain on the internet. Oh, it's wait, so big. It's gonna talk about on my favorite overall. So it's a good fixed blade. It's solid. It's oh, light. Has a, a my, good sheath. And we use these crazy. clips. We don't use these clips. A lot of our knives. This ulti clip. I think your yeah. big one has a huge ulti clip on it. That thing grips onto your shorts. Like I could wear this on just gym shorts and it's going to grip it. We even, even could attach these to a gun holster if you wanted to. They're freaking awesome. But here's my favorite Super fixed blade. Super strong. Horatio? I... Look it up. Sounds Look it up like a yogurt around. company. A yogurt ratio. Ratio, ratio is ratio yogurt. Is yogurt, not Horatio. I know, but it sounds like the ratio. It, like, well, this, sounds like ratio. You see that symbol right there as it gets focused. But there's my favorite fixed blade because it is solid, sturdy. Could be used for a lot of different things. Cutting, you know, if I want to cut open a, a lemon or something, or if totally. I want to cut over someone's melon. But there's my favorite fixed blade. Let's go to EDC next. Your favorite EDC. Maze, go for your first while he's looking up. My favorite EDC. Fixed blade. Okay, I have quite the story about this one. So I like to call this one the gas station special. So we were on our... <laughs> I know, it's sad. Special. But we were on an RV trip and we were in Texas. And there is this store in Texas that has a ton of cool different knives. They have like swords and stuff there too, I think. But it's a really is cool it store. Sassy Sassy's? Sassy, Sassy, Sassy Lassie. Lassie. Sassy Lassie. Lassie. Well, that's Lassie. the name of the store that's like there when you walk in, but all the way in the back, there's this thing. I'm pretty sure that part where all the knives and stuff is called the man cave or something. I don't know, but I like it. So, not just the man cave. <laughs> but anyway, so gas station special. I have a story about this one. We were on an RV trip, and again, like I said, in Texas. But, so this one, it doesn't have any brand on it or anything. So I'm like, oh, oh whatever, maybe it's I'll just like. You. I'm not, I'm not sure. Like, it just doesn't have a brand, right? And then we're walking no, 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 on the no, way home. No, 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 stop at a gas station. Like, we're driving back. You know, we stop at a gas station. And I see this exact same knife. No, that's and not it has happened. the brand on it. You saw you it. You bought it for like 30 bucks at the knife store. And you were also happy you bought it for 30 bucks. Then we went into a gas station and you didn't come inside the gas station. Me and Tyson saw it. Oh, yeah. And yeah, I saw yeah, it and said, Tyson, don't let Mid see it because it was like 15 bucks in the gas station. Like she's going to be so off. upset. She knows she spent 30 bucks for it. She could have just bought it in some gas station. It was not even a special knife at the knife store. It was just a gas station special. So we didn't tell her to try and spare her feelings. And the second she walked in, the first thing she saw was a knife. She's like, what the hell? $15? And she wanted to go drive back like 18 hours back to Sassy Lassie's to get her $15 back. But whatever. At least now you have a good story to tell about your favorite Gas EDC. station special. My favorite EDC is this right here. And it is a Benchmade. Probably our third most expensive knife 
because this has this little button flipper. This needs to be cleaned again. Only problem with EDC, if I'm running or working out, I made the mistake of wearing this and I was working out on me. And I have a different one specifically for that. I'll show you in a second. But this gets like sweat and then it sticks. It gets a little sticky in the in this button here. So it has this button lock right here where you just hold this and look, you just flip it open, flip it closed. And it's bench made, has solid, good steel. It's a CPM crew wear, it's called. And bench made has that little butterfly on it, but it's the mini, mini Adamus or Adamus Adamus from Benchmade. It's probably like 200 and something, $250 knife, but it's just the handle is a little big, but it's fine. That's what I want for EDC. Something that could be used all around for whatever I need done. Slashing open Amazon boxes or slashing open fools, whatever it takes. Cutting wood, cutting, cutting food, doesn't matter. But it does need to be cleaned regularly because it's used for a lot of different things. It gets all sticky and icky, and that's his job. I help. Knife I help, but he's the... All right, Tyson, what's your favorite Wait, did EDC? I put this... Did I put my EDC up to the camera? No, I don't think I did. So, yeah, there... Wow, another shiny, pinky, Rain, marshmallow, rainbow or one. rainbowy one. All right, so my favorite EDC is by Real Steel Sacra Pro. It's called. And my my. You might want to put it on the oh, camera. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't. Camera. I couldn't see. Real Steel Sacra Pro, and You're mine has the same. Like the tip of the blade on there. Sacra or Sacra? Sacra Pro. And mine has the same button on it too. That one is a quick button. Is a, that, yeah. That's a perfect this EDC. This might even be smoother than yours. It's and a, this is my same favorite EDC. And I can actually wear this while running. And I think you, your problem is, is that you wear it in your back pocket. I, I always do. wear or it. Or yesterday we did a staircase workout, like 2,000 steps we did on staircases. And it was soaking wet with ass juice. So it, it got a little stiff. The butt lock gets so a little stiff. So where are there's children around? And he just cleaned it, and I wore it the next day for workout, which is why... Oh, I didn't even get my O2 fix blades I said I was going to do. Oops. Just, honorable mentions. I'm going to go... Well, this is an honorable, honorable mentions, anyway. please. This is my EDC for cardio. This is my cardio EDC. I'm doing a double two-for-one. Did I miss that one again? <laughs> Who's by? Oh, let me see this that one. This one is so quick. Steel. Look at that Steel button. Steel Sacra Pro. Look at that. Or Sacra it's like a or fidget whatever. toy. Or again, you can do thumb, middle finger. It doesn't have the this little button, flipper, though. Look at Keon the wrong. This button that's on there is freaking... Quick, geez. I know yours is like so. That's like a perfect, can I take that one out? That's like a perfect EDC. And it's mine, light. when you ever you open it, it like the button, it like it has like a spring or something. This one was honorable right. mention. This is Fox yeah. Edge. This doesn't. Even, this has no thumb stud. It only is a manual opener. It's stiff, but this is. I use this just for cardio. This is like my cardio EDC when I'm going for a run because it's so. This thing is like a feather. You all like this thing is. That's what two ounces maybe. Uh, less than that. It is yes. light. Can I feel it? So I put it in my back pocket of my running shorts and I can run with it. Oh, you don't that even know is it's there. so light. I did not even know it was that this light. This is also from BattleBox. It's Fox, Fox Edge. Fox Edge. Fox Edge. And it is a... Wait, so was that other one Fox Edge in? Which one? What was the one that I said I didn't know the brand of it? Oh, no, the Horatio. Oh, Horatio. That's right. Oh, that's a different... Yeah, oh. it's All right, so that's my e cardio EDC where I can wear on my shorts... But I forgot to I forgot to mention my two fix other two fixed blades. Of course, it has to be K bar. The USMC K bar. It this could be an honorable mention, but it had to go in the fixed blade because this is a major fixed blade. I love the end of that the blade, like how it like dips down and kind of like. And of course, it says like, USMC on it. I used to have one that I got when I got out of the Marine Corps and it got stolen out of my car. Like the first month we lived in California, my car got broken into when we left the doors unlocked. So then. I got this as a gift from someone. And then my other favorite fixed blade is another custom one. This is uh, this is half from face. Half Face, half half face, face blade. Blades. You can see that Indian picture on that. You can say oh, no. Indian anymore. Oh, yeah. And it has personalized on it kill. And then if you see that, if I can get the lighting, yeah, the project logo. logo crest burned into it. So that is my other favorite EDC solid this one's a solid one this is one of the strongest probably the strongest fixed blade we have yeah all right so let's keep rolling so that was my we did so so far we did folder fixed blade and edc let's do our favorite crazy one we're gonna get favorite. a couple more categories okay i think we'll i down. should go first so go. wait uh, you want I'll, I'll go first, I'll go first. first. so mine is the crkt provoke karambit it's the mechanical one that when you push down 
You're not good at getting on camera. You're I know, like, I can't, because I can't see. He opens it, you see the tip of the blade, and that's it. There we go. So you, you don't even know if it's like a knife. And it locks in place. And you use this little button here to close it. And this is my only knife that I have here that I bought myself. I don't know the other crime it on your honorable mention. Oh, yeah, that, that, one I also bought. That, that one I also bought. But this is the only, like, one that I have on this Such list Such a right cool here. mechanical. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. And it's very durable. It's and I like how the whole thing is made of steel. So. Yeah, this whole handle is some kind of steel. Is it, like, heavier you, than you? And the metal, or? the steel on the blade is 40-40. We're not very big steel experts. We know some of them, but 40-40 Durable steel. steel. And... Yeah. All right, I'll go with my, nice. my, what is it, what category is it? The weird, cool. crazy, cool one. Mine is an M48 Cyclone. Cyclone. Check this thing out. Wait till I open it up. Look at this. That's thing. just the sheath. Bam. Look at that sucker. It's like a corkscrew. That'll open up. That, it really, we, we, we use this for opening up wine. Yeah. Except we don't drink wine, so use your imagination. <laughs> or opening up domes. Opening up melons. Look at this thing. The M48 Cyclone, right? It's gold? Yeah. Yeah, right there. Check out the red color on it. it. Has the M48 logo on there. It even says Cyclone on the handle. Freaking Wait, awesome. When did, when did we even get that? Like, I don't. And it's got like a nice that. handle. This actually just came from Amazon. Amazon had these for a while. This thing is just brutal, vicious, cool M48 Cyclone. Mids, did you happen to find any weird? Or crazy ones that you like? Oh, yes. So you know how earlier uh, during the fixed blade session we were talking about how some people say some stuff is, like, too big? They should they should see this before they talk about that. What in the <laughs> hell? I'm going to step it aside for this. So this is just a sheath. This is the Condor Machete. Is that the Hold same that. brand? Safe. Yeah, it's Condor. The same brand as your My fixed, fixed blade? blade, yeah. So it's the same brand as this fixed blade. They almost look like they could well, go together in a set sheath? and yeah. match. With can leather I sheath. A belt loop that is a hell of a sheath. Who would wear this on their belt, though? I'm going to wear that as my EDC. This is as long as your leg. I'm going to wear that as my EDC. It's really it's bigger than your leg, bigger than your arm. Look how big it is. Like, the handle is can, like... Can you control that a little more, please? Longer than my head. Condor machete. It's like right. longer than my arm. It literally is bigger than your arm. And can you put that back in the sheath, please? For all <laughs> of our safety. Fingers. Okay. Let's just Jeez. flip it around here. All right. So this goes to the final category. Okay. Before we just... going to be my new EDC, guys. We'll do the honorable mention where we just flash a bunch of our favorites at the end to finish off. But first, here's the our main category. Our number one favorite overall oh. knife. And this is one that... We is probably also our favorite flipper, also our favorite folding knife, also our favorite EDC, but it's just one that is our number one overall that covers all the bases that we use most of the time, that we carry most of the time. Tyson, what's your favorite so overall? So my favorite is the off-grid rapid fire ranger. This one has no thumb stud on either side. It's only the flipper lock here. Or yeah. Off-grid rapid fire ranger. And this is a pretty big size. This isn't as small, but this is... And he's a 13-year-old kid. You've been carrying that since you were, like, on and off since you were 10. Yeah. It's a chunky knife. But for your main overall, like, EDC, to me, that's what I want one that's a little I, I want big, durable. I want bigger. I like big knives. One that can... It's not massive. I mean, you can see it in my hand. But this one, used to actually be it your was EDC. my EDC a while ago until it got jacked. You didn't... I didn't jack it. You... It's just such a sturdy... Like, this is almost like replacing a fixed blade. It's replacing an EDC. It's replacing a folder. It's like an yeah. awesome overall... It's just a comparison size around knife. to my favorite EDC. Or this is my favorite EDC right here. This is my favorite overall. So, yeah, it's a chunky size, but that's what I like. Major, what's yours? I have a feeling yours isn't chunky. Yours is a wee bit knife. Yeah, it's it's actually called... The brand is a wee. It's that's a wee knife. That's why I say it. <laughs> But it doesn't have any flipper, only the thumb stud, no button or anything. You can see right here, there's the logo right there. And it's got a nice little clip there, pretty strong clip. This It would be my favorite EDC, but we can't have the same thing for multiple categories. Open it, take that out again? So this is just, Open it up. This so, is it So compared. your two favorite knives, look at this, the difference in the sizes of these wow. two. It's almost but just always as big all as wood. the handle. It's like the wood, her favorite... Overall, except for my rainbow stuff. Her favorite weird one, just toss that aside, and your favorite fixed blade. All had all wood. that wood and like 
outdoorsy. And my first knife is similar to that, but it's not wood. It's just similar. All right, so my favorite overall is the Benchmade Adamus. Adamus. I don't know how to say it. I don't care how to say it. I don't give a shit. I don't know how to say it. I don't care how to it's say it. It's the original, not the mini. It's so, a good knife. So the other one I, was my ED or my. Oh yeah, the purple one. EDC. That is not purple. That is burgundy. That it's is purple. What is that? You, Put see, it down in the comments. Is that purple? Is that purple or, or she said that I would never carry a purple knife. So it's a burgundy. It's off red. Sure. So there's. It's the exact same knife as the mini and the Adamus. It's just a lot bigger, but everything is exactly the same. But this is my Except favorite overall because it's a little bigger. It's a little sturdier. It's actually smoother. The bigger one is smoother than the small one, which is weird. But it's the same steel that crew wear. But check out that color and the blade. Of course, we, I want one that looks cool, but also is functional. This oh. one is just like Tyson's off grid. This replaces my. This is like a folder. It's a fixed blade. It's a. It's an EDC. This is one I carry most of the time. One thing that I really hey, like. Don't about touch that. my arm machete. Stop. One thing that I really like about that is the exoskeleton handle. Yeah, I guess because it makes it chunky and durable, but then they put some holes in it to make it lighter. That makes it lighter. But this has the same button lock. Look at look at that. For a big, huge, clunky knife like this, open it compared to the mini Adamus. And mine is much even bigger. smaller than that one, than your red one. This but this still cut next to the off grid. You see this? Oh, this? Next yeah, to that? yeah. I want to see the off-grade compared to this. Off-grade is actually might be chunk. Off-grade is chunkier a little bit. A little chunkier. But this one's longer. This one's a little longer. The blade. So Benchmade at Dam is probably our most expensive. I think it's like 300 bucks for this one. So we don't have ones that are Wait, too expensive. Wait, what about the machete? No, the machete was maybe only 100 something. Oh, yeah. This one was expensive too. Probably this half blade. It's custom made. The one with the project We got that one as a gift. So logo. we'll never know. But this, my favorite overall Benchmade... Adamus carry it all the time. This thing's like a it's like a tank. This is like a tank of a knife. Weird that it's smoother and seems more durable than the mini. This one gets I carry this one more and this one gets. Wait, more can you compare it to my favorite stuck. folder? Like the size. You can get an idea of the size. It's, yeah, that's a good amount bigger. Alright, so that's our my all of our favorite. Folder. Time for honorable EDC, mentions. Fixed blade. Weird and crazy. And then our favorite overall. Shit, we showed a lot of knives here. Now just honorable mention. We're just going to flash them on the screen. Tyson, go first. Just flash all your honorable mentions real quick. Just flash them. Flash them. So we don't make this too long of a video. Right here is a Civivi fixed blade. Elementum. That I usually carry around. The Elementum. And here's one that we usually keep in our RV. Everyone says that it does not look cool. But I feel like this looks I don't cool. Know how he likes so what? That has a fire starter. I love it's this for like thing. gutting fish and it has looks a like fire a starter. Snub -nose it's cool, knife. but it's just oh, so yeah, it big, clunky, right and heavy, and I don't even know what it's for. And it has a fire starter on the end. I don't even think it's. All right, that. flash through them all. Flash through them all. Wait. And then right here, knuckle knife. I think that's. Yeah, just continue. Yeah, Move uh -huh. on. And <laughs> here's my other crambit. That's a that folding I have. crambit. It's a little bigger by Schrade. And. That's it. Yeah. That's all right, Midge, what's your right. honorable mentions? Okay, so I only have uh, two un honorable... Wait, no, I have three honorable... Wait, is that one yours? Or... Okay. Okay, yeah. Okay, I have three honorable mentions. One is my own karambit. Yet again, this purple And it's the same color. mechanical style. Yeah, it's same mine. mechanical style. I'm not sure what brand this one is either, but it's uh, 440 stainless steel, so... Then we have another one that's from the Dead Fish brand. We actually have another Dead Fish knife that's in the kitchen. I love using that one for like cooking and stuff, but this one's a bit yeah, different. It's not that, that the, the other Dead Fish. It's not that exactly is for this one. Not exactly. They say it's to for skinning fish kitchen. and stuff. Uh, I could see it being used for skinning. You skinning can, fish skinning or skinning other things. Uh, let's keep this up. Not let the YouTube people uh, destroy us. I wonder if they're gonna YouTube, let this. See right there. Don't this video, this. this video is for educational okay. purposes only. Educational purposes only. Look, YouTube, this is a children's please family. Please do not demonetize us, please. Yeah, just because it's knives. I mean, you gotta cut your your salad and stuff. So that was dead Sad. fish. All right, some and other. Then, wait, I oh, have yeah, more. 
All right, go ahead. Okay, so I already showed my cram bit, but this was actually my first ever knife. He gave it to me. I actually don't know where you got this, but earlier I was saying like about when you guys were talking about that wooden stuff of my handles, this one is similar to that. It's not wooden, but it's like outdoorsy. It's like this camo color. I'm not sure. It's a, a buck. buck. That's buck actually a USA. Walmart special right there. Just like the other one's a gas station special, that is a Walmart special. We've, we've probably had this knife, I don't even know, over probably 20 years. 20 years, wow. It's I've had it ever it even, i've had it for like three years now really. i think <laughs> not much smoothness i could it. oil it and maybe i've it had it ever since back. i was six yeah I was, ever since i was six i almost threw my rotator cuff out oh, by try. opening that, I need to try that all right some more honorable mentions here's one of my fixed blade i keep this attached to the outside of one of my kind of outdoor packs my truck bags that has like a little bit of everything in it with food and survival gear it's what is this Taurus. no Taurus. Taurus. Taurus fixed blade is just a sturdy survival knife has a leather sheath Awesome. Let's, all right, let's keep rolling. Another fixed blade. This one has another one of the Ulti Clips on it. This one also Battle Box. Ruck and River. So this is the same as my. Battle Box has a lot of Ruck and River. Ruck and River. This is the same as my Flipper, my folder. That was my favorite. That one from the beginning. And then Tyson has a Ruck and, and look River at the too. size of it, though. It is a big ass survival, self defense, whatever you want to use it for. Knife, Ruck and River. Cool that's handle, a big, that's a sturdy big steel, has a flat edge here for fire starter, cool stuff. Let's toss that one aside. What else we got? Oh, here's another one. This one, this is my folder that stays on the same bag as the Taurus. I tossed it. So I keep these two on the outside of one of my outdoor survival bags. This used to be my EDC. This is CRKT. I think it's called a M16. It is just a, oh, it's yeah, a, it's a huge it. folder. Has a, is it Tonto Blade or is that Reverse Tonto Blade? That's Tonto. Cool knife. Heavy, sturdy, but really heavy. I used to carry it around a lot. It's pretty heavy for a... It's even, it, but it's breathable, it's though, too. Your, it's even size. heavier than it, that, I think. It's it's heavier, but it's it's still... High, and that's so, already with the holes. Even longer. With, like, the isoskeleton. Longer than that one. But just an awesome overall knife. Probably one of my overall favorites. Just for, like, one that could be used one for anything. Them. Could be EDC. Could be... Kind of replaces a fixed blade. It's so really long use the thumb and like, sturdy. I feel like, see, like this off grid, I can use like chop wood and stuff. The CRKT, I don't, I, I, you could, but I wouldn't. I'd rather use this for probably like chop wood chopping or wood. Like that. And then two more honorable mentions. This one right here, and oh, I'm supposed to be wearing it. This one's what do we call this one? None the wiser knife. The none the wiser knife. That's the battle box description. In the battle of box, it. the description is none the wiser. A neck, neck knife, knife goes under your shirt, and you pull it right out. Because no one's the wiser. Holtzman. I have another Holtzman too, a, a folder uh, I keep on my desk. It's, it's a little though. Like, Holtzman has the monkey on it? The gray one. I have that gray one on my desk. I have another desk knife that I keep as my folder on my desk. It could have been brought out here, but we have Let's so many. Let's compare it to my favorite folder. Like, it's, it's pretty small. It's tiny. So it's a neck and knife. And it's got the Tonto it's blade. It's a little heavy for a neck knife, but it's really cool, sturdy, solid, small, fixed blade. And Tonto. then the final honorable mention. It's one of my specialties at the project. I actually got to at a rest stop in, I think, Wyoming. We were driving across the country. No, I think it was New Mexico. I think it was, I'm pretty no, sure it was, it was a weirder state than that. No, we never went to Wyoming. We never. It was one across. of those weird states we stopped in oh, one of those times. Yeah. As the whole family, when the first yeah. time we were coming. Look at this thing. It is just a sword, like a Rambo knife. I don't really know what to call it. But not much practical use for it other than interrogating folks. But that's what it's for. Look at this thing. And it's just a cool. I wonder if you could. Find, I mean, I wonder if it's even good steel. Hibben, Hibben Knives Custom Design. I don't know what Hibben Sioux Hill or something hill. It doesn't really even say. Oh, yeah, it does. GH5051 stainless, handcrafted in a different country than the United States. Oh, uh, I don't know we if won't you can say, say it that. Here. I don't know if you can say it anymore. You might get demonetized for saying that. But check that sucker out. Honorable mention. mention. So, again, and this is, this is literally just a fraction of our knife collection. We show the entire knife collection. We'd be here for hours. This is just our tops, just our favorites that stood out overall and there they all are we'll show you a picture we'll put a picture and a video of all these all together in one shot but there's a knife the freak family knife collection edc's favorite overall crazy folders and fixed blade and then the honorable mentions so what are your favorite knives which one of the ones we showed comment down below which one of the ones that we showed did you like the best and what is your are some of your favorite knives put them down below we'll put the and, links to as many of these as we can yeah, remember in the description, description below so go down and check it out. Subscribe. This is this channel is all about. It's all about manly, family, fun, and guns, and knives, and fitness, and self-defense, 
and dogs, all the cool shit that men like to do with their families. That's what this channel's all about. So just make sure you're subscribing. If you're not a subscriber, so something like 99% of the viewers of the million, millions of viewers we have every month are not subscribed. So go and subscribe right now. And that's an order. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe. As he said, smash that like button and click the notifications bell. So you never miss out on any future videos like these. We will see you next time. We'll see you in the next one. No, no excuses. excuses. No excuses.